Hi everyone, Miss Turnick here, and today we're going to play a game called Clothespin Drop. This is a pretty simple, straightforward game that's probably best played inside, but if you do want to play outside, that's okay too. Just make sure that you're on a flat surface. So you'll need a trusted adult to supervise you and other things that are required will be a chair and we'll show you what we're going to need the chair for shortly. You're also going to need to get clothespins. Now if you don't have clothespins, you could use Lego pieces or some sort of a toy that is tiny and that you've got multiple of. You're also going to need a variety of containers. Now I'd suggested plastic containers, I'd also suggested glass jars or bottles of some kind. So just make sure that the opening on your containers is big enough to fit the objects that you're going to be dropping because the object of this game is to drop either the clothespins or the Lego pieces or the tiny toys of your choice into the opening of the jars or containers that you're using. So I've selected a salsa jar as probably one of our easiest options. Okay, the glass pumpkin butter jar is a little bit trickier. And for a challenge, you could use a container that has a pretty narrow opening like this juice container. So to set up, position your chair in a spot that's open and free of any other clutter. If you are playing with small children, make sure that the children are safe when they climb onto the chair. And kids under the age of five may require a spotter so they don't tip from the chair while they're doing this. Because yes, this game is a game that can be played by all members of the family. So once you've got your chair set up, position one of your containers in front of it. So let's start off easy and we'll position the salsa jar in front of the chair on the floor like so. Now I'm gonna try using the clothespins. So I'm gonna grab my three clothespins. Each person will have three tries. So I'm going to climb on the back of the chair and sit on it on my knees. I'm gonna position my arm on the back of the chair. And if all participants position their arm on the back of the chair, that way you know that everybody's dropping the clothespins or your other objects from the same point. So this game is a game to develop our hand-eye coordination. So let's see how close I can come. Ooh, look at that, one for one. Oh, so close. Let's try again. Oh, so on that turn, I got one out of three. And so what I can do is come over to my piece of paper, if I've got that handy, and my pencil, and I can record my score. You can play multiple rounds and have a student from the family add up all the participant scores to see who wins. Okay, and as I said, if you find this one easy, try one of the trickier ones. Okay, let's try this one just to see how I do. So I'll move this one out of the way and we'll get our clothes pin out. And let's try the Lego pieces just to see if they're any different. So you'll notice that I chose longer Lego pieces. Okay, I didn't choose the smaller ones. It's probably easier, especially for younger kids, to get a handle on the bigger pieces and might be easier for them to drop things. So I'll climb on the back of my chair and let's see how I do with the pumpkin butter jar. Ooh. Well, that wasn't very good. Oh, so it gets kind of tricky. So test your hand-eye coordination and have lots of fun with clothespin drop. Take care, friends, and have a great day.